Hello everybody! Welcome back to this travel vlog. And for today's video, ayan, nandito po tayo ngayon um, standing um, in front of Our Lady of Carmelites ano, statue, no? Dito sa, ano, sa Cebu City. Ayan, ito po yung kanilang church. At uh, hinayin po natin sa loob kung gaano kaganda yung church. And samahan nyo po ako sa araw na ito. The Carmelite Order was born in the majestic mountain of Carmel in Palestine which was home to the Prophet Elijah, the Order's father and leader. The Blessed Virgin Mary's gift of the brown scapular carries with it a promise of her maternal care and profession. Cebu, the cradle of Christianity in the Philippines, received the gift of Carmel's presence on May 13, 1949. The Our Lady of Mount Carmel's feast day is celebrated every July 16, the same day the Virgin Mary appeared to St. Simon Stock in 1251. The brown scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel is among the most celebrated Roman Catholic devotions. The Carmelite Monastery in Mabolo, home to 25 discalced Carmelite nuns, is a known place of prayer in Cebu City and is frequented by devotees and pilgrims from all over Cebu for the yearly celebration of the feast day of its patroness. The order of discalced Carmelite nuns in the Philippines sprang from the prophetic vision of Bishop Dominic Lefebvre, a missionary bishop in Hue, Vietnam. While awaiting his execution in a prison cell during a fierce religious persecution at that time, Bishop Lefebvre recounted how Our Lady Mother St. Teresa appeared to him in a vision and requested him to establish her order in Vietnam. The Carmel of Hue eventually founded the first Carmel in the Philippines on November 9, 1923, almost four centuries after the reform. The first Carmel in the Philippines is the Jaro Carmel in Iloilo, founded by Bishop James Makloski, Bishop of Iloilo at that time. Bishop Makloski is a visit to the Carmel of Lexus, the Carmel of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, shared a beautiful personal encounter with the then newly beatified St. Therese, which led him to believe that St. Therese was interested in the newly founded Carmel in the Philippines and that she will ensure its success through her little way of love.
In 1949, Cebu and the whole country were recovering from the effects of the war, and material reconstruction was the call of the moment. But people with vision knew the real need of the post-war world. It was the need for God. God hungry and God thirsty, the world would only fling itself into greater ruin if it did not find the authentic solution to its problem. Catholic Cebu responded, Cebu, the cradle of Christianity in the Philippines, received the gift of Carmel's presence on May 13, 1949, through the efforts of Jose Maria Cuenco, Bishop of Iloilo, and Gabriel Reyes, Bishop of Cebu. Ayan, so maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nanonood ng video na ito, no? especially to the members of this channel, to my subscribers, silent viewers, and maraming maraming salamat po. At naway nagustuhan nyo po ang um, Church ng Carmelite, no? Lady of Carmelite dito sa Cebu City. Um, at sa, naway makavisit din po kayo no? to pay your... Uh, um, homage or to to give your and offer your prayers no to Our Lady of Carmelites and your say your petitions to her ayan and maraming maraming salamat po ang susunod ko po mga travel vlog this is Jong's channel thank you